Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC, and today uh, we're going to do a two-part series of how to make a blind corner cabinet in mosaic with a flush inset blind panel. And I'm going to show you how to build out the interior to still get your stretcher, to get your partition for your drawer guides, and ultimately how to place your blind panel, uh, blind corner hinge as well, and to do it completely parametrically. So this is part one, and make sure you watch part two after. Let's do it. All right, so before we get started, make sure you press subscribe right below this video and subscribe to this channel. Uh, we got a lot of weekly content coming, and I'm also working on a huge giveaway uh, that you're going to want to be a part of, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, and so we're going to build out a blind corner cabinet uh, with a flush inset blind panel. And make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to show some common mistakes people make uh, when building your own parametric cabinets and potentially save you some headache uh, down the road. So uh, we're going to start here from just a plain single door cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and stretch the width here. And go to finished ends, none. And then I'm just going to bring it over, tuck it into the corner here where it uh, will be. And we'll get the placement uh, later. But we're going to build it out first. So I'm going to go here and go to edit. And I want to be able to see the cabinet while we go here. And there it is. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the face. I'm going to uncheck automate interior. I want to build up my own interior and we'll clear that as well. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split this vertically. And on the left side here, where I want a drawer on top and a door on the bottom, we will split that as well. And there it is. And then we're going to change the hinge here to right, like so. Okay. Uh, on this side, this is going to be our flush inset blind panel. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to type panel. And what that does is it takes the hinging away, but it also, if we go to the parts tab here, it calls it panel. And if I go to edit here, it actually changes the part type here to something called finished exterior. And so that allows us to do a uh, material that is different than the rest of the cabinet potentially. And so we can really control then uh, what material this panel is made out of by changing our material for the part type finished exterior. Uh, and so you can see the texture on that is the exterior texture. Um, and so that, that'll always be there, but really the material now is completely up to you by changing part type finished exterior in your material template. Okay. So, First thing we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, flush inset then. So you can see it's sitting uh, kind of overlay in front of the cabinet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to modify the size of that panel. So I'm going to click on panel here in the parts tab. I'm going to go to edit. And instead of the native width and length, we're going to make our own. So the length here is not 30 and 3 quarter. Really what I want is I want it to fit inside the opening. And so I can make a new formula for that. And that opening is really the overall height of the cabinet. I'm going to subtract out the toe height. And then I'm actually going to subtract out the thickness of the bottom and the thickness of the top. And what's left over is the opening in the middle. There we go. You can see 29. I know that is right. You can see the position isn't quite right yet. We're going to do that second. Uh, but that really is now going to fit in the opening. The next thing we're going to do is the width and get the width right. Now, this one's a little trickier to explain. Um, but really what I want is I want it to fit inside the right end here. But then I want it to overlap my midpoint here by the thickness of a partition. And so really my door and drawer are going to overlap and overlay this, this inset panel. Uh, what I want to be ultimately by 5 eighths, and we'll check that later. And so I'm going to go to width here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with part W. 
And what that does is it actually allows me to start my formula from this native width. And so really what we're doing is an adjustment to the width that Mosaic thinks it needs. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the reveal on an unfinished side. And so right here, I'm gonna add this reveal in. And then from there, I'm gonna subtract the right end thickness and that's gonna get me inside this, this right end. So right end thickness. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add half of this reveal to get right back to this center point. So we'll go to add, frameless reveal mid, divided by two. So half of that, really just a 16th of an inch. And then from there, I'm gonna move over again by the thickness of a partition. Uh, you're gonna see here, we're gonna add a partition in a second. And so I want that in there as well. And so that's the formula I'm gonna use for uh, the, the width of this blind panel. I'll press okay. And there we go. Now let's position this correctly. So we're gonna go to part 3D position. First thing I'm gonna do is bottom to top. You can see we're sitting here four inches up, or in other words, the toe height. And so really, I don't want that to be toe height. I want that to be toe height plus the thickness of the bottom so that it sits up on top of the bottom. And you can see it got us up there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over in the X direction so that it's inside the right end. And the formula to that is gonna be W, which brings us all the way over to the end here, minus the right end thickness. There we go. And the last piece you can see here, we're still proud of the opening, is I need to move this back by the thickness of this part. Now we showed already this part is called finished exterior or fin exterior. And so in the Y direction here, I'm going to use that part type dot TH for the thickness. And there it is, flush inset. Pretty cool. All right. So we got that done. Now let's add a partition on the inside so that we've got something to attach our drawer guide to. Press OK there. And I'm going to go over to the interior tab. And you can see we've got nothing in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a separator inside. And I'm going to center that on this reveal here between the drawer and the door. And what that's going to do is give me a stopping point so I can add a partition only in this top section. So we're going to do a vertical split up there. And I'm going to go ahead and flush right on the, uh, so the partition is on the left side of that reveal line. And if I did everything correctly, go to the front here and I go to wire, you can see how that partition right here is perfectly lined up with the edge of my blind panel. So that formula worked out perfectly. This is exactly what I wanted. And you can see now that partition is sizing my drawer correctly so that it fits nicely in the opening left over. Now, if we go to the right hand view, you can see I've got my drawer guide holes in that smaller partition. We'll go back to perspective view. Take a look, there it is. And if I take the back off, there we are. Pretty cool. So that's where part one of this series is going to end. Uh, watch part two, and I'm going to show you how to add a stretcher here if you'd like one. We're also going to hinge the door with a blind panel ready uh, hinge. And then at that point, that will complete the cabinet. So make sure you go watch part two. See ya.